Bandicoot Smash! What's up, ladies and gentlemen, duders of all ages? Welcome back to another episode of Is It Good? This is the show where I play mobile games and tell you how they are. If I know anything about them, I will give you the knowledge that I have. And I'm also going to give you an ad count in one of the corners of the screen, probably the top uh, left or bottom right. I don't know which corner is going to be picked. But every time there's an interruption, I'm going to cut it out because I don't want you guys to have to watch the ad. I'm going to do it for you. And at the end of the video, you'll see a number of how many forced ads that there are. And I'm not going to include the ads that I choose to watch, if I choose to watch any. So the game I'm going to look at today is called Conquer the Tower 2. I've never even seen Conquer the Tower 1, so that's why I'm starting with number 2. And if you're curious as to how I'm playing this, there is a link to Bluestacks down in the description of the video. This is available for both iPad, uh, or I guess iPod, iPhone, iPad. It's, it's on the Apple Store and on the Android Store. And it's a pretty simple game, pretty fun. You basically have a shop right here where you can, uh, I guess, uh, you know, get to uh, pay for real stuff here. Okay, so I just realized that there was a technical issue. I seem to be having a lot of technical issues today while I was trying to record this part. So what I want to show you guys, as I was trying to show you before, is you use your coins and you unlock all this stuff here. It's wonderful. You can get different costumes. See, I've already gotten one there. This is what we started off with. This is what we are going to finish off with. But let's see, I didn't get a new guy here, but I did get another guy here. And you guys didn't see that because, again, technical issues. So we're going to show you guys just how this works right now. I'm going to open this guy right there and see it gives us this cute little, well, I don't know if I would call it cute, but he's got a little sword and a little cross. Well, I guess it's in like an axe on his shield. But again, very, very cool. There's also, I guess, backgrounds that you can unlock. This is kind of new. I haven't seen this yet. Uh, there's your tower, um, and I'm not sure what this is about. This is kind of brand new, so it's kind of cool to see this. I've been played this for a, uh, I played this for a long time, and then I stopped for a while, and this is my first time picking it back up again. So I'm kind of seeing some of these things for myself the first time as well. Um, okay, so there's different types of tower: your normal, your attack tower, and your defense tower. And I think this is just kind of the, like when they level up, I'm pretty sure is how it works. And then you've got boosters here again, which you can buy. Entanglement, flaming balls, speed reducer, bombing, healing. Anyways, let's just get in there and play this because I've already kind of rambled on enough. So control, it says drag your finger to create connections between your towers and blah, blah, blah. It's pretty simple. So basically you just go like this. All right. Oh, wow. That's, that's kind of loud. So hopefully that's not too loud. I'm just going to adjust the volume over here. If I can manage to... Okay, so hopefully that's done it there. So we're going to sever the ties. It's upgraded twice now, so occupy all towers to win. And the uh, the little squares you have up here, so when I'm using one, it gets sort of blued out. And when you use the other one, it also gets blued out. But you can also connect these two or... Uh, well, before it was doing that, so we're probably going to get an ad here, so I'm just going to click this and just, just be completely sure. Okay, so it doesn't appear to be giving me an ad. Good. So I did see some complaints that the latest uh, update actually makes you watch a lot more ads. Okay, so basically this is a, a different... Uh, this is basically your enemy right here. So I'm going to go like this and start filling up the two. And then once that's done... I'm going to just kind of go full out attack like this and they can attack at the same time and they more than likely will. I don't know if this will because they're, this is kind of like a fresh install. So um, it's kind of just starting over. But as you can see, it's going pretty easily. It does get a lot harder. So let's click on that. Hey, we still haven't gotten an ad, so that's good. We got to play two rounds without ads. Now let's see if we can make a third section. So this one's infinite count. I don't know if that means it can't be taken over because I've never seen that before. They have done some pretty nice updates to this. They have even kind of make it look a little bit nicer. The tower evolution. When the tower reaches its maximum points, it will send out all the soldiers captured. Okay, so, uh, okay, so it can still be captured, but the more towers you have sending guys out, the better. Actually, I did this video once, but it was kind of uh, 
See, I'm just going to click it. Usually it happens after the levels, so... I did do this on a live stream once where I was doing a whole bunch of games. So, you see how the more guys go in, your tower gets upgraded and gives you a up to three of these little boxes where you can then, again, sort of send them all over the place, which is very, very cool. It's very simple. It's, it's, it's a pretty good time waster. Like, if you're sitting at a doctor's office or you're sitting in the car, yes, I like the game. It's okay. I'm going to give you a four star. Actually, I'm going to give you a five star... Oh, I can't. Anyway, so we'll cancel that. <laughs> I'll rate it later. I'm pretty sure I already actually have rated it. But luckily, we've gotten three rounds without any ads, so I'm not sure why people are complaining about it, because it doesn't seem that bad. So I'm going to use a different strategy here. I'm going to actually attack... Oh, there we go. So you see how it keeps jumping forth. So the more guys you have going into a building, the better, because then they can't... Uh, take over as easily unfortunately sometimes you've got a tower that can't go anywhere else aside from oh maybe right there actually there we go so we'll take that over we're going to start moving these guys towards these but you see how they're also attacking so i know it kind of looks easy but it definitely gets a bit harder um, i never really had too many issues with it before sometimes i had to start a level over because you know, it was pretty difficult, but as you can see, it's not too bad off the bat. And you can always watch the additional ad there. So tower system unlocked. Oh, nice. Okay, so upgrade. Go to your battle. So what exactly did I upgrade? Oh, interesting. Okay, so now it's got... Wait, what did it upgrade? It didn't... I should have been watching that, but it didn't let me see it. All right, I'll have to watch the video over again. So I'm just going to spam everything right here. And once I take that over, I'm going to go straight for red. There we are. Okay, so I got one ad. There was the first forced ad. Not bad. All right, so how many coins do I have? 74. Can I do anything yet? I cannot. Wow, it's going to take a lot of coins. 7,500. That's going to take a while. Um, so maybe what I'll do is I'll play a little bit. I'm going to watch a bunch of ads to get some coins and I want to show you kind of like what you can unlock. So I'm going to do a jump cut right here. Okay. So I'm back. I had some, uh, technical issues, uh, but I only watched three optional ads and there were four forced ads. So the ads are kind of popping up. Uh, well, I was going to say adding up, but that was a lot of ads in one sentence. So, <laughs> But now we're working with our cavalry tower. As you can see, we have horses coming out. I'm not really paying a whole lot of attention to this all. But let's see. We may be okay. Hopefully. I don't know. <laughs> I kind of got pretty distracted. Uh, so, yeah, the, the technical issues I was having were with OBS, not Bluestacks, and not the game. So I just want to put that out there. We also have an ability which might actually help me out here. So I'm going to hit that ability. And it basically wraps these vines around and grants us sort of like a moment of peace. It's beautiful, isn't it? Then the cavalry towers are a lot better than the other towers because the horsemen can do a lot more damage. I think they charge through two people. And then the guy with the shield can charge through one person. And then the regular guy who just comes out uh, with a sword, I think, is the one that can only basically hit the person and they fall over. And you kind of only hope to get enough towers to put your guys through faster. Because the more towers, sorry as I was rudely interrupted there, that's five ads by the way if you can't tell, the number will be down there. Um, so yeah, and the ads are kind of stacking up so I'm getting a little bit more distracted now every time they pop up. But, uh, yeah, so that's the description of the game. Night racing, I don't know how this works, but that looks pretty interesting. I just hit start. Um, but I don't see anything different than before, so I don't know if it's not working or if it's something wrong with me. But that'll be the end of the video, guys. If you want to check this out, it is available for both the iPhone or any uh, iOS devices and as well as Android 
Uh, both links will be down in the description there. You guys can check it out. Please let me know if you enjoyed this by leaving a thumbs up. If you didn't, it's okay. Let me know by leaving a thumbs down. Either way, I love your beautiful faces. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you again real soon with more stuff. Hit that subscribe button. Check out our Discord link as well. Sorry, I forgot to include that. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day.